what we're gonna do here is relatively simple. I'm going to bring the engine up into certain RPM ranges. So in this case, I can't go much lower than probably negative five, negative seven. I will pre-highlight this area here and we'll drive it at 2000 and I will increase my timing as I start to hold it at a fixed throttle angle. At a fixed throttle angle, we're allowing a, a certain amount of airflow in, a fixed amount of, uh, of airflow coming into the engine. By having our airflow fixed and then having our fuel dialed in, we can vary the spark timing and see the torque output live on the dyno here. As I'm adding the timing in, I wanna see that I get higher and higher torques at the same throttle angle. That means I'm gaining engine torque. Now, what we don't wanna have happen here is that we keep adding timing in and then we don't see an increase in torque. That's gonna to be the point where we've reached maximum brake torque and we wanna go and stop adding any more timing. Now, if you don't have a chassis dyno, you can do the same process. You're gonna to have to find a long stretch of road where you're not gonna have any incline or, or pitch changes in the actual road and you're gonna hold your foot fixed. This is easier if you have a, 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 a driver driving or sitting in the passenger seat. Have, your, have their foot fixed, and you're gonna simply add spark timing in. And you'll find, as you add spark timing, the vehicle will start to accelerate at the same throttle angle. You're gonna tell them, hold your foot, keep your foot on the throttle, and manipulate the throttle so that you maintain that vehicle speed that we're after. It might be 40, 50, 60, 70 miles per hour, whatever's gonna get you in the area that you're trying to adjust in the table. And once they, fix and regulate themselves at that speed, they'll be constantly backing off the throttle to a certain point as you add timing in. Once they're not pulling their foot off the throttle any further, there you have reached maximum brake torque because the torque production isn't increasing, so you'll find that the vehicle speed will just flatline. It won't go any faster because there's no more torque output. It's the same idea as I'm accomplishing with the chassis dyno. This is just easier on a chassis dyno and it's in a controlled environment. So you can repeat again the same process, a little bit more involved and time consuming, within the part throttle uh, spark timing calibration, but you'll find that you can do it. It is something that is a possibility. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now, drive it, hold it at 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, maybe even go up here to 5,000. I'll see how far I can get as, R, as far as the RPM goes, and I'll vary the spark time. Again, just bumping it up from this point, and then seeing where we peak in our torque. Once we have that optimized, we'll shut it off, and I'll talk about how to go and take the data that I've captured and I've changed and then learn how to go in and build out the spark timing table. It's actually really simple. Let's go try this right now. So I'm gonna throw my headphones on and then we're gonna to start to drive it. And again, just move through the RPM points. Let me bring my, my dyno down here to roughly 2000 RPM. We'll start off here at 2000. I'm gonna pre-highlight this area. So right about here, we'll give that a go. And then uh, again, I'll sh we'll go from that point once we fill out the areas in the table, just as we did in the V table, we'll learn how to go and fill in the blanks and then dial in the rest of the table. I am gonna go just data log it for right now, so we'll do control L right here for logging. And let's start to drive it. Now, if I'm gonna be adding timing in, I'll just use plus or minus. In this case, plus, I'm gonna be increasing it past, uh, past this point. This is our low point here, so let's try this.
Okay, let me stop our data log here. Um, we'll save this real quick. We'll call it ignition PT, ignition part throttle. Let's go shut it down here and talk about this. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.